Welcome to Social Media Connection. I'm Jay Darragon with The Relationship Economy. And I'm David Bullock with The David Bullock Show. David and I have been running a series about the four elements of social media. They are attention, attraction, an affinity, and today we're going to talk about the last one, audience. And what does it mean to have an audience today? You know, David, in the past, whether you're broadcast television, a print magazine, a newspaper, it was all about having an audience. Mm -hmm. But I think that was a different audience than today. What do you say? Well, I think what's happening now is something called, it's a new term called prosumer, one that creates content and another one who consumes content in the same person. So, I mean, we're practicing that now. Uh -huh. Exactly. And, you know, in my perspective, the audience is changing. It's a new audience. Mm -hmm. The old audience was set up to just receive, not exchange or engage. The new audience could be the same people, but they've been used to now, because of the power of the social web, but to engaging with others about your brand, mm. about their experience with your brand, your service, or your product. So the new audience are the people who are having conversations. Well, the dynamic has changed now. I mean, you can have a blog now. You can be on Twitter now. You can use LinkedIn now. You can use Facebook now. You can go get something from Facebook tag it differently and now that content almost becomes your own. Mm -hmm. So now you can use content as an exchange between your audience, your consumers, your prospects, your customers, your constituents, the people you work with. Content is now this new commodity in the marketplace. It's almost being traded like revenue. It's a new currency. Mm. It's the currency of conversations. You know, I know between the both of us, we're connected to thousands and tens of thousands of people throughout the social web. You and I have an audience. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and most brands say, okay, I get it, I get it. I get the attention, the attraction, I get the affinity of the audience. But most CEOs are saying, show me the revenue. Hmm. So we're going to come back. And the next subject matter is going to be action. The fifth A. What action do you expect from your audience and how? to create action from an audience. And this part is going to be fun because at the end of the day, a business owner wants what? A transaction. They want them to, do, I mean, action. Get your wallet out, yeah. credit card, cash transaction. This is the part. We have to go through those four steps before we can get to this fifth step. Typically, people try to get to the fifth step and never develop the foundation with the first four. And it's interesting you say that because if you look at the history of media, they're used to getting our attention and creating an action doesn't work anymore, won't work anymore, and guess what? Unless you change, remember we're talking about an audience, right? Mm -hmm. You'll lose your audience. They'll move somewhere else. So we've gone from a microwave to a crock pot type situation now. It go. takes a little bit more of attention. Well, it takes more attention from the person putting the content into the marketplace to develop the relationship over time to get the things that we want to develop through the affinity stage to get to the action stage. This ought to be fun. This is going to be fun. Listen, we appreciate your time. I hope you find these short segments on the elements of social media. Attention, attraction, affinity. Today we talked about audience. When we come back, we're going to talk about action. The action that brands want is to put, bring out that credit card, make that purchase. But if that's all you focus on, you're not going to get in the action. You lose in the end. You will not get through the four steps successfully. David, this is fun. Absolutely. You all have a good day. Thanks for coming with us. See you.